back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And Tony Ferguson, the UFC's disputed lightweight champion, El Kakui is given his time frame for his return. And when he returns, he expects an immediate title shot versus bitch ass Khabib, as he says. Now, this whole lightweight situation, as far as Tony Ferguson is concerned, is I can't wait to see how this plays out because I'm still kind of confused because we have three lightweight champions arguably right now. Um, I mean, and that's arguably. You could literally have arguments for all three of these guys, Tony Ferguson, Conor McGregor, and Habib. If you guys recall, Tony Ferguson fought Kevin Lee for the interim lightweight title because Conor McGregor fought Floyd Mayweather, had a baby. So Conor McGregor wasn't defending his lightweight title when we had Tony Ferguson, the number one contender, ready to fight for a belt. The UFC needed a title fight for UFC 216, so they gave Tony Ferguson the opportunity to fight the only available ranked lightweight Kevin Lee. He was ranked number seven, but literally guys one through five were not available to fight. Nate Diaz was out, Eddie Alvarez, literally everybody one through five in the rankings wasn't available all the way down to number seven, Kevin Lee. So was Tony Ferguson, number one ranked guy, taking on the ne next up, uh, Kevin Lee. Tony Ferguson won the fight, became the UFC's interim champion. Now with that being said, he was supposed to unify that belt with Conor McGregor. That's what you do when you're the interim champion. Essentially what the interim belt is, for those of you people who don't understand the interim belt, it pretty much guarantees you a title shot. It's, it's your guaranteed number one contender spot. If you're the interim champion, nobody else can fight for the title um, in, unless they fight you or you fight the champion. There's no number three contender fighting um, for the belt when you have a healthy interim champion. So with that being said, Tony Ferguson was supposed to fight Habib Nurmagomedov. Now, Tony Ferguson was coming into this fight as the interim champion, but Dana White said as soon as one punch is thrown in Khabib versus Ferguson, Conor McGregor's belt gets stripped. So what ends up happening? Tony Ferguson leg injury leading up to UFC 223. Um, Habib Nurmagomedov, after the, Dolly after the Dolly incident, four fights are canceled on UFC 223 after Tony Ferguson's pulled out of the main event. So on top of all of that madness, now we got Habib Nurmagomedov fighting the number 11th ranked lightweight. He doesn't have anyone in the top 10 to fight because it's one day's notice by this point. We got the number 11th ranked lightweight ally Quinta to fight in Habib. Neither one of these guys are necessarily the champion going into the fight because Conor McGregor was the undisputed champion. Well, disputed because we had an interim champ. We got Conor McGregor as the champion, Tony Ferguson as the interim champion, and now we got Khabib and Iaquinta fighting for a belt. And now, so they fight for the belt, Habib wins, and now he immediately gets placed above Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor, even though he didn't fight either one of them, but the UFC he stripped both of them at the same time. So it just played out so weirdly, but right now, UFC.com says Habib is the undisputed champion. You know, there's different ways that could have played out. If Conor McGregor gets stripped of his belt, Tony Ferguson moves up to undisputed, Habib becomes the interim champion. And that's how Tony Ferguson feels like it should have played out. Um, in a recent interview, he said, I should be the champion and Habib should be the interim champion. But it looks like the UFC actually um, decided to strip Tony Ferguson of his interim belt and let Habib jump over him. So that whole situation was really weird, but now we're still left with the question, who is gonna, Habib gonna be fighting when he comes back? We didn't know about how you know, long it would take Tony Ferguson's leg to heal up. He had a freak injury, if you recall, tripped over a cord uh, a week before the fight. Uh, in the Fox Studios, it wasn't like he did it kicking a pole or kicking a metal pole, which he was doing as well. But that's not where the injury came from. The injury came from a media obligation from the UFC. Um, he, so then he slipped messed up his leg it looked pretty gruesome but he's been healing and now that's where this time frame comes into play tony ferguson's um been showing his healing process through social media showed when he got the staples out showed the scar healing and all of that showing him getting back to training he's dancing on his leg and now he said the doctor told me recovery time is anywhere from three to six months with this kind of procedure but i heal quick whenever habib's bitch ass comes back that's when i'll be back i'm thinking november 
So Tony Ferguson's looking like when it comes to three to six months, he's closer to the two to three side. He says, shoot, I might heal up quicker than the three months. So, and he has been going through some extreme healing on social media if you've been following it. So with that being said, if Tony Ferguson's ready to come back in September, is that when we see Ferguson versus Habib? Or does the UFC um, get, end up finding a way to get Habib versus Conor booked? That's the fight the world really wants to see as far as casual fans, hardcore fans, but probably Habib and Conor. It's probably the fight they both want. We all know Conor McGregor wants to fight Habib in Russia. <laughs> He's so great. No, but really, um, the UFC just announced they're going to Moscow. They're going to be at the Olympic Stadium. A lot of people are saying that's still going to be a fight night card. Um, but that's really interesting. We'll see what happens. But if Habib does not fight in Moscow, which it, it doesn't look like that might be happening right now. We don't know if that's going to be a pay-per-view, but it, a lot of people are pointing toward that being a fight night card in Russia this year. So if the UFC goes to Russia and it's just a fight night, we probably don't see Habib fighting in Russia. So Connor's probably not going to fight him there, right? But so if Habib just goes back like to New Madison Square Garden, that, you know, um, that's a place Habib fought before, Madison Square Garden. He also fought in Brooklyn. There's a large fan base for Habib in that New York market, that Brooklyn area, Madison Square Garden. So if Habib does go back to Madison Square Garden, he could fight Tony Ferguson. That'd be a huge fight. Um, so that's that's a real possibility. But if that was going to happen, then there was really no, no need to strip Tony Ferguson, right? Because if you got Habib versus Ferguson next, it's probably a bigger fight if the interim champions unifying is built with the champion Tony Ferguson who suffered that injury. But now, since Habib's the only champion, it opens up Habib to be able to fight a Conor McGregor or a GSP in a some crazy super fight. So Tony Ferguson, I'm sure, does want that Habib fight. Of course, he wants his belt back. But we'll see what happens. We know this is the UFC, the ultimate fighting circus, and it's also a business. So when that comes, with that being said, if the UFC sees the potential or if they can get Conor McGregor versus Habib, they're going to go with that. Sorry, Tony Ferguson. You know, the UFC will probably make it right with Tony Ferguson. So maybe some kind of check. You know, Dana White, we've heard him um, allude to that at press conferences. Like, you know, we'll make it right with Yoel Romero or whoever the fighter happens to be. And um, whatever. I, so... If Tony Ferguson might have to wait when he comes back, which I'm sure he's not going to be happy with. But like I said, this is a business that the UFC can get Conor or GSP versus Habib. Those are probably huge fights. If the UFC is trying to get Habib in Russia, you probably want to fight bigger than the Ferguson fight. That's a big fight, though. So we'll see what happens, man. Uh, definitely got my eye on this situation, the lightweight picture. As soon as Conor McGregor's return is announced, it's going to, you know, really answer a lot of questions. As soon as Tony Ferguson's comeback is announced, it's going to answer a lot of questions. But until then, man, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da! It's the motherfucking D O double G!